Hi everybody, I'm so excited for this video. I'm going to be vlogging my experience at the book signing Wanderlust. It's my first ever like book signing event. I've been to like singular author book signings before. This is my first like one where there's going to be multiple authors and like booths around. So I'm so excited. I am meeting up with some of my bookish friends. My lovely friend Kate, she is going with me and we're gonna go drive to San Antonio from our college town. I think it's like three hours away and we're gonna be meeting up with Riley and we're gonna be uh, rooming with her, which is so fun. I'm really excited to see Riley because she was not able to go on the Atlanta trip due to some things last minute. And so I finally get, get to give her a big, big, big hug. As well as some of my other bookish friends I have not met in person yet that are going to be there. I'm so excited. Uh, this is my bag that I'm going to be taking with me into the signing. It has only like has five books in it currently and all my other stuff like I have to take my medication, extra water, supplements for me and my illness obviously so that bag is full of things other than books so i don't know how many books i'm gonna buy um if there are still books available at sophie lark and sarah kate's table i will be buying those but i don't foresee that i honestly forgot to pre-order stuff like the date went past my brain on the last day to pre-order stuff so i was not able to do that we're gonna see we're gonna see if i am introduced to new authors and pick up new books i'm just super excited to mainly see everybody see all my bookish friends and tonight we're actually going to be meeting up and like going to this restaurant and um we're gonna all have a fun fun time when it comes to reading for me i'm currently reading mary Ingmas by talia hibbert i know that's really weird out of the blue a christmas book um but this was on any play to listen to and it is like one of the three books that i have not read yet by talia hibbert and so i was like why not it's short and i think i am able to finish it this weekend which is good um but i'm just super excited for this trip. I'm gonna be spending time with my lovely friend Kate and um, we're gonna go on like a three hour car ride. So let's go. <laughs> day um we're in the hotel and um unfortunately riley is not with us anymore she didn't feel well so she had to go home so um we've been texting her though and we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> stay on top of her today and make sure um she's doing good last night we also met up with uh some of our bookish friends here are here's a picture why is it r here's a picture um, and my friend Kate and I, we're gonna go to a bookstore um, this morning. We're gonna try and find a cute little bookstore to go to before the signing, because the signing doesn't start till noon. Do you wanna tell the camera? You don't have to be on. Do you wanna tell them what you're reading? Or no? I'm not reading anything right you're now. You're not reading anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I was gonna update on what I was reading, because I'm currently in the middle of, that's so funny. I'm in the middle of like two, like snow, <laughs> snow, like winter romances. <laughs> If it's not um, in season, I can't read it. Really? No. I'm the person that's like, I can read anything at any time. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like, I could read like a freaking, like, New Year's romance right now and I'd be fine. No, everyone's talking about, like, Christmas romances. No, I'm gonna yeah. have to wait for Christmas time. Because <laughs> I'm reading, it's called Mary Inkmas by Talia Hibbert. Yeah, that seems so good, but I'll find out in December. Yeah, no, like yeah. <laughs> um, the audiobook's only, like, five hours, which is nice. I have 45 minutes left of that. I listened to like a chapter before I went to bed and then I fell asleep. And then I started a novella by Cassie Mint. Have you read Cassie Mint? Mm -hmm. I love her novellas. Um, that one's called Snowstorm where this girl is, I think on a trip to England or something. And she takes a tour of this Duke's like estate or castle. And um, <laughs> she gets like separated from the tour group. And there's like a bench in the room full of uh, like paintings she falls asleep on the bench her tour group leaves and the duke comes home oh my God. <laughs> and uh he finds her asleep on her bench and there's a snowstorm and she can't leave <laughs> oh it's like a 70 page novella i've only read two chapters um but i'm liking it i like cassie mint's novellas so yeah kate and i are gonna get ready 
and then we're gonna head out and go to a bookstore and meet up with people. If it, get co it gets cold in there, I brought my, my alien sweatshirt. <laughs> my friend Desi made this. I love it. I know I bought it because I bought one for because you. <gasps> you bought one too? Oh my god! Twinsies. <laughs> Every time I see these books, I think of Riley, so I miss her. Look, Riley, look, they have all of them. Okay, we just uh, came out of the Nowhere bookshop. Mm -hmm. It was so good. If you're ever so in San Antonio, you need to go. It was amazing. They have like amazing diverse books of like even children's books, romance books, like all of them were so diverse. So Kate, you want to show us what book you got? I got With Neighbors Like These by Tracy Goodwin. It's set in Houston. That's why I got it. We're both from Houston. Yeah. And so like there's never any books ever. Set there's in never Houston. anything set in Houston. Right. And honestly, I said that once in like a YouTube video and someone comments, she's like, the reason why nothing's set in Houston because Houston's boring AF. True. <laughs> there's nothing to do there. And I was like, you're not wrong. But it's but like neighbors, a single mom with a neighbor. Sounds love good. it love that and then she also got like a sticker which is cute yeah good sticker from there and then since i bought a tracy goodwin book we got a gnome yeah she had like an event there and there's like a bunch of gnomes that she gave to them i was like if anyone ever buys my book let them pick out a gnome they have like blue pink and green yeah so cute so cute so cute um and then do you want to show your sticker off where's your sticker is it in the book Oh, also, you want it, it comes oh. stamped too and with a bookmark. Oh, I didn't mean this is a sticker. Oh, yeah, sticker that's so cute. I know. Um, and then they like you can get your book stamped when you're there. Where is the cover page? There you go. Look, like they can get it stamped for you if you want to. So, my two books that I got, I also got a bookmark too, it would come out. Um, super cute and then um i picked two books that i've been wanting to read this one is a historical that i know has disability rep so it was amazing and then um this one ha i've had my eye on because chloe lee has hyped this book up and um i think it has depression rep in it and i think they like meet each other on a boat gives me a lot of titanic vibes so and i love titanic so um we are going to maybe head over to the hotel and um go to the signing yeah so excited <laughs>
Hi everyone, we're back home in my apartment. <laughs> my friend Kate just dropped me off and um, I kind of want to show you what I got and talk about the whole experience. Um, also, sorry if the camera's a little shaky. Um, you're currently on a tripod on my bed. This is the best lighting I can do currently. So I'm gonna like, talk about my whole experience really fast and then like haul the many books I was not expecting to get. <laughs> I know I didn't vlog all that much when I was there. Um, it was just like an experience thing. I was living kind of like in the moment. Um, it was just fun. It's my first book signing ever. So it was quite the experience. And I think I've learned a lot from it as well. These authors were just amazing. And I loved like the environment and community that was in the book signing. Um, like all people wanted to do there was gab about romance books. And like, I can't do that with almost anybody in real life besides my friend Kate and a few of my other friends. Um, and so it was just so refreshing and so nice to be able to chat about the things that I love with other people in real life instead of like through a screen like I normally do. It was really cool just seeing everybody finding new authors was really cool because I didn't expect to honestly buy a lot of books. I was mainly in it to see Sarah Kate, Sophie Lark, and then to see just all my friends and ch chat with them, um, take pictures and chat with them, yeah. And that was definitely fun. I loved, loved, loved seeing everybody um, and just chatting with them. There were a few people who recognized me at the signing, which was like bizarre. Um, and so yeah, if you ever see me at a book signing, I am a very shy introvert. Um, and so I need like other people to come up to me because I get really nervous. Like I'm good when you introduce yourself, I'm good. But like, if I'm like closed off, not really talking to anybody and the moment it's because like of my social anxiety. But when someone introduces themselves and starts chatting with me, I love it because like I had more horrible about breaking the ice. So if you ever see me, never be afraid to chat chat with me um, and to come up to me because I love it. Um, I'm just really bad at making the first move. <laughs> I did have a lot of fun. The hotel we stayed at was great. Um, I'm really sad that Riley had to leave, but Kate and I are making her a little goodie bag with a bunch of other things that we're gonna send to her. So Riley, if you're watching this, that is being sent your way. I have learned though some things that I'll definitely implement into the future signings that I go to. I'm planning on going to Book Bonanza next year. And um, I definitely have some things that I'm gonna implement. <laughs> I definitely want to prioritize um, planning ahead when it comes to food. Um, normally because of my celiac disease and not being able to eat gluten, I have to like plan and prepare like everything I eat and take food basically wherever I go, I'm used to it. But I'm kind of used to like bringing like one sandwich and a few power bars and a few snacks. I wasn't expecting to like have to bring a whole meal for like dinner and breakfast and stuff. Um, so that's on me. But like also I really want to like make sure if we go out to eat to plan before because there have been instances where I haven't been able to eat anything and um, it really unless you like have a food allergy or like food aversions and stuff like you know how that feels and like it's it's kind of like I don't know how to describe it but it's not the best feeling in the world when you realize you can't eat anything in a restaurant um or only eat one thing I want to prioritize that for future signings and just um always call ahead to see what accommodations they can make and stuff like that. But I had a lot of fun and I'm glad I got to meet everybody and take a bunch of pictures with my friends and make new friends. And so yeah, I'm gonna show you what what I got. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go and order in the bag. And so uh, some of these are ones I already owned that I just got signed, so I'll tell you about those. But um, I ended up running into JL Beck and C. Hallman. Um, I have made a few TikToks for them and it was really funny because I was telling my friends, I was like, I don't think they'd recognize me, but like they hired me to do some TikToks for them a few times. Um, and immediately right when they saw me, they were like, you did TikToks for us. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I didn't expect, I didn't expect them to remember. So, um, I asked them what book has disability rep in here. And I believe this one has a partial deaf rep. Um, so hard of hearing. And so this is Broken Beginnings and um, they have signed it and um, it come, came with a bookmark. And then this is, I think that's book three in a series and this one's book two. And they just gave this one to me cause it's a little damaged in the corner, which I did not mind, but they just gave this one for me for free. So this is Violent Beginnings. These covers are stunning. All these covers that I bought are beautiful. All the covers at that signing 
were just gorgeous. I've never read an A.L. Jackson book, but I saw her in her table and I've seen this book floating around and I thought I'd pick it up. So this is Hold On To Hope and this cover, beautiful, again. Um, and she signed it and then a few things that came in came with it like all the authors had like swag on their table so she has like a series card thing and um this is actually a sticker which is cool i don't know where i'd put that i kind of want to make like a scrapbook i think that might be fun i i really want to do that next year for whatever book signing i go to i want to make this girl that i was standing with in line like had this idea of like a scrapbook and um, I want to copy it. So that's what I'm gonna do next time. I know, I know better now. So an author that I met that I'm so excited about, I'm so excited about, her name is Avery Kingston. I'll share her books in a second, but I learned about her because Carrie from Booked for Romance, um, she was talking about this book before we walked in. She was like, okay, I want to get this book. It looks really good. And so she told me about it. And apparently the hero's in a wheelchair and they meet on a plane. And I was like, perfect. You have me sold immediately. Um, and so we went to her table and I got this one because it looks so good. Um, here's a few swag items in here. There's a sticker. We have like a little thing about the book and a bookmark. But um, as we were walking around, my other friend Rachel was like, look, I got, where is it? <laughs> I got Hush Darling, which is this book. She's like, I got this one because she told me this has a deaf hero in it who lives in a cabin in the woods and it's a romance with him with a woman on the run who's pregnant. And I was like, why did she not tell me this then? Um, so I went back and got this one and another one and she just has like disability rep in like all of her books and I had no clue about her. So here's like a little plaque thing and um, a bookmark. And so that one sounds so good. And then I also got this one from her and I don't remember what the disability rep in here is. I think he's visually impaired there's some more stuff in here i'm not going to show you everything because i know it can get boring but like if i don't love this author i'm going to be so upset because like she was so sweet she was so nice and she has like disability rep in almost every single one of her books and mental health rep so those are all signed too by the way to me it was so cool because we have the same name but mine's spelled differently obviously so um that was really cool so caitlin made me want to pick up a nikki ash book also my friend kate who was with me um she picked up a nikki ash book and i was like okay i gotta go to her table then um so i picked up clutch player by nikki ash i can't remember what this one's about but caitlin said this was really good so um there's a bunch of things in here but it is signed. I like these kinds of cards where authors like put their books in like series and also it's like standalone. So like, here's where you can start with me. I like those kinds of cards. And then there's a little thing with a bookmark. I did get to see Sophie Lark. And so I got three of my books signed by her. Um, first I have Ivan for Avery, for my daddy, Ivan XOXO Sophie Lark. And um, Caitlin also wrote me a very sweet message because she got me this book for my birthday this year. And I was like, please write something. Um, whenever a friend that I meet in real life like gives me a book, I'll have them write in it too. So um, yeah, I got that one signed. And then I also got Brutal Prince and Broken Vow signed too. She didn't have any of the other like Brutal Birthright covers that I have um, for sale there because um, I didn't pre-order anything, unfortunately. Um, but I did purchase this version of Stolen Air. Um, this is the illustrated version, the special edition um, that just like is stunning. I don't know how I'm gonna collect her books. I have three of the man covers and then I have uh, the Hello Lovely Box version of Stolen Air, not Stolen Air, sorry, Savage Lover. And then I have this version of Stolen Air. So it's like all mix matched, which is funny to me, but um, this is absolutely stunning. And the feel of this book is beautiful. And then she was also giving out little goodies. And so I got these little earrings, which is cool. I did get to meet Sarah Kate, which was really fun. She was really nice. And so I already had two books. I had, um, I already had praise and um give me more and caitlin also wrote in this one too but sarah kate signed these for me there's also like a bunch of other swag stuff in here too i have a few bookmarks a few like postcard things but there's like a stamp she put in all of her books that's really cool that she signs which is really really amazing and then because i didn't own book two and book four i i bought them so i have my complete collection now and then the last two books that i got are from lily archer so i bought this one this is a land a land of never and night this is a peter pan retelling that i was really interested in and then um carrie carrie was like hyping me up to her i love carrie and she was like oh you're a book reviewer hey let me give you this book 
just for free. This is Faye's consort. I don't know what this one's about, but um, I got these two from her. I'm really excited to have this now. And then all the rest are like little like pens and pins and keychains and stuff that y'all probably don't want to see. I had so much fun with this book signing and I'm um, like Kate and I just had a blast together. We had so much fun. So thank you so much, Kate. I love you for hanging out with me, <laughs> but I can't wait to go to my next one. Honestly, this is going to be so fun. I got to go put all these books away now. <laughs> Um, but thank y'all so, so much for watching. This video was so much fun to make. Um, and I can't wait to see everyone else's vlogs too. Be sure to go check out everyone else. I'll try and remember to link everyone down below. Um, my friend Kate does have a booktube channel. She hasn't posted on it in a while, but I'm gonna leave it down below so you can go follow her and give her some love. Anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.